Now, here's the reason why I think it's important to consider this, right, as a focus for myself. The reality is, as Black women in corporate America, we still have a lot of ground to cover. The statistics bear the truth themselves. White men are still eight times more likely as Black women to be an executive. White women are 4.5 times more likely than Black women to hold leadership roles. Now, what I love to describe when I get to this point of talking about why this is important is there is always a power dance going on in corporate America. And as a Black woman, it is so important for us to really focus on not just being impressive in our work, but to also know the moves to the dance. Now, we love line dances. You go to a wedding, you go to a party, you go to a cookout, there's always a good line dance going on. And if there is a new one, you can try to get on the dance floor and pick up on the moves. Chances are you're going to bump into a few people, you're not going to get effective at catching on, and you're going to give up. But something different happens when you join the dance floor and you're next to someone who will say to you, go to the left, go to the right, go up front, now step back. When someone is showing you the moves to make, you can learn the dance and you can then know the moves. And so that's my goal. My goal is to help women learn the dance and then make the move. But the reality is, as women in corporate America, whether we want to admit it or not, we are still running into unspoken barriers. We are still running into antiquated thinking. When it comes to women leaders, we are still experiencing a little sense of belonging. There is poor acceptance of our uniqueness. There are poor stereotypes about us, whether the perceptions are we're angry, aggressive, or unapproachable. There's still poor recognition of our work, and we are often challenged to take one or the other, rarely both. And here's what I mean. You get the money, but no title. You get the work, but no recognition, or you get the title, but no money. And I want to war against that perspective. I want to help you figure out how to navigate to your success. And so that is the reason why this entire season is dedicated to helping women really learn the skills, the savvy, and the momentum to accelerate their success. It is time for you to truly become a power leader. Mm-hmm.